Hello everybody, Jerome Wright here once again, and um, again here you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Okay, um, what we're looking at here, let me get the error out of the way. What we're looking at here is a goblet and or a chalice. Okay, the reason why I have it, this um, this is actually the um, the chalice of um, Pope Pius. And, um, you know... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna touch base on this because the reason why this is up here is because when you do the mirrored image of the Beatles um, revolver album cover, which was um, created back in the um, the '60s, there, they um, it produces an image of a goblet and or a chalice, and I'm gonna bring that image up in a minute and all. Now, my problem with this is that a chalice. Is described. Let me let me get the description. A chalice. I'm going to read the um, the definition of a chalice. A chalice is a goblet or a footed cup intended to hold a drink. All right. Um, is generally used in um and um is generally used with um within religious. I mean in religion. It is intended for drinking during a ceremony. Now, my position is that, you know, and what I've been finding with regards to ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty, that there are cult like rituals that include the consumption of, of blood and semen, bodily fluids to genetically alter themselves from one state to the next. And this is a practice that's been going on since the very beginning. And this is the secret to everything, people. Now, the reason why that chalice is up there, I have another. Let me um, let me go and um, and bring, what do we have up here next? Okay, there's another chalice. And who does this chalice belong to? Um, this chalice belongs to Burgos Vanda something. Burgos Vanda something, all right? But anyway, you can Google chalices or and or goblets whatever and you will see the likenesses of these cups come up all right now the problem with all of this is well it's not no, really no problem but what i found let me bring the beatles album cover up i could have actually just went ahead and, and did that without all right there's the beatles album cover there this is a mirrored image of the beatles album cover now here is one chalice here. There's, this is the neck of it. This is the base and it comes up and it creates a cup. Like so. Then there's another one here that comes down on top of it and creates like, you know, like I, I like to say, like if you go to have like a drink or a, a mix, they bring two cups together and they're mixing a drink. Well, in between them is a crown right here. And then I, I pointed out that when this image is mirrored, the guy that's actually in the middle there on a the Revolver album cover becomes the face or the likeness of Elvis Presley. Now, also, I've tied this this um, this um, this this album cover to not just Elvis Presley, who was dead, but Michael Jackson and Jimi Hendrix, all who have supposedly died through the use of drugs. Hold on, people, because it gets better. I'm gonna go to another. I'm gonna bring the other chalice up. Um, I have it. I'm gonna turn it. All I gotta do is flip it over. It's gonna be the same image, but turned over to where this portion is down. Okay. So there's a chalice here, right here. Look at this, people. Look at look out. Look at the base. Look at look at this. Look how this this creates. There's there's a chalice in the chalice actually because there's a a, a base of a chalice here and then there's another one that comes down and you see the neck there right here that comes over now this is a specific goblet or chalice that could be associated or identified to a specific individual of the past now basically all you have to do is narrow down the description of this chalice or goblet and it identifies with the ancient rooted religion or ancient rooted royalty that these beetles are cross-referenced with genetically they're telling you 
This a mixing cup. One cup turned in on the next. Through the blood of Elvis Presley. They're talking about Jimi Hendrix in here. And they're talking about Michael Jackson. All who are dead. And they're saying there's a cauldron. A cocktail-like chemistry. Where there was a mixture of all of these genes. And a, an extraction of another gene. And this is what everything has been about. And this is what I've been saying consistently all along. Now. Now you have. All of these individuals who are dead, a murder plot that where these individuals were contaminated, genetically contaminated. And the only survivors and the witnesses are that of the Beatles. Well, ancient rooted royalty as well. And ancient rooted religion. So it's my position that to narrow down the description of this chalice right here links not only the Beatles to the death of Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, and Jimi Hendrix, which they show Jimi Hendrix being choked in this as well. Jimi Hendrix died of um, asphyxiation. Supposedly, he choked on pills and alcohol. But the Beatles have him being choked by one of the members here has his neck in a chokehold so we have this scenario where there is being murder drawn overwhelmingly here in in this scenario now What's good about this is that murder can never be, um, there's no statute of limitations on that. So if any authorities want to come and actually open up this case and based on the information that I found, this can actually be um, tried. This case can be tried based on everything that is here. Just on this alone, the Beatles, this is enough um, evidence to take and um, to have each one of them arrested and or the album um, the album artist cover the guy that did the album artist cover all of these people can be called in for questioning and or investigated for the murder of Jimi Hendrix Michael Jackson and of his Presley now people I'm gonna leave this up to you this is a chalice Basically, all you have to do is find out who that chalice belongs to. There's a chalice there, almost like a, like a, 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 a glass right here upside down. This is representing the crown. I'm saying that that crown is a representation of that of Elvis Presley because the image in the middle of the crown here, and this is upside down now, of course, is matching this description of Elvis Presley and along with his family jewels or his, his possessions. Here's the emblems of his Cadillac spoke wheel. There's the um, the, the private plane, the, um, the Boeing like with the L's on it for Lisa. And the two L's on each side is right there, up top there. So all of this is tied in together. And in fact, this may even be a, a chalice or a goblet that is associated with Elvis Presley that might be in Elvis Presley estate right there. Because there's the two L's on each side of that. Elvis Presley's plane is there shown in this thing. Elvis, um, his ring with the lion on it there. Okay. And then the Cadillac, the spoke wheels, he's associated with the Cadillac, the Cadillac insignia and with the cross. All of this here showing with this chalice. And this describes a scenario which links them to a specific genetic bridging and cross contamination based on something that was created through this figure here which can be identified either in and or as a pope or as a king or queen with ancient rooted ties my name is jerome wright i'm going to end that video there there's no need to go on dragging this out but i can take you back to a chalice that's that turned over i'm going to take you back to a chalice Come on, Chalice. If I can get there. All right. Oh, okay. This is a Pope's Chalice. You know, you know, there is something else that I want to say about this. Because when I see this, I get angry. 
to be totally honest with you. Because, you know, most of religion, ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty, what they didn't steal and rob through ancient, um, I mean, through earlier on explorations, meaning because they actually um, um, commissioned all of the, um, the ancient explorations on this planet. So what these people didn't steal and rob on those explorations went around pretty much in my mind. They murdered everybody, took their possessions and brought them back down and, mo and, 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 um, um, and, and um, melted them down and then created stuff like this and or um, I'm, I'm created it based on the, the taxes, the ties and the, um, the collections that they take, donations that they take. But my position is that, you know, people, this here is worship of material objects. You know, this here is placing value on material objects. I mean, I don't know. This thing looked like this is studded with diamonds, which would have had to come from. I think about it, people. Uh, uh, places like Africa. Uh, um, just think about these places locally. And then gold, all of this stuff. And then what went into this? You're talking about a chalice that could be worth into the millions of dollars. Something to drink out of. You have people globally that are suffering for all kinds of reasons. And then you have a man, a common man, taking and making something like this. Symbolization that is, is that goes against the grain of everything that people believe in. Why in the fuck would he be drinking out of a a, 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 I'm just going to put a price on it. I'm going to say a $3 million chalice. Diamond studded and in gold. Why in the fuck would this man be drinking out? Why would anybody be drinking out of anything like that? Unless it was symbolic with something caught to do with it. And he was drinking cum and blood out of it. Literally. People, there is a problem with this stuff, and I'm going to tell you something. You need to get over your fear and start doing and rise up and say, listen, this is wrong. This is wrong. How can you have these possessions when so many people are suffering? And then on top of that there, what do this have to do with worshiping of God? I mean, this is not commonplace. This is associated with something demonic and unrealistic. This is not real, people. I mean, this is no different than your your, your local preacher or your local um, um, um bishop come pulling up in a, in a gold Cadillac. And I mean all gold, not gold plated, a, a, a studded gold Cadillac with diamonds on it. This is the same exact thing. Could you live with your preacher pulling up into and wearing um, studded diamond um, clothing? Could you live with that? People, these people are boasting of riches. They're placing a value on riches. What do this have to do with the serving of God? This is insanity. And for those of you that support this nut mess, I mean, I'm telling you now, that is insane. Believe in yourself above anything else and the truth will follow from that. Believe in yourself. Believe that in yourself and believe that you have the common sense to gather an understanding on your own, not from me, not from any other third party. I mean, you do not need no, no person in between to tell you how to speak with your higher power. You focus in on your conscience and say, I want to speak to the man in charge or the woman in charge. And that is your higher power. Through your own understanding. To take an understanding from people that believe in this shit. And, and something that you could, that's so, so dark that you could not even possibly even imagine. I'd be like you letting somebody drive you over a cliff. On a direct course to be driven over a, over, over a, um, 
over a cliff and you just, and you because of your trust in them you're not questioning them. you see the signs that says the road runs out cliff ahead but because you trust them so much they say oh no that's telling you oh no the road is there we know we, we were just down here last week you will let them drive you off the cliff even though all of the signs are telling you that the road has run out and then and let's say and within um, two miles the road is going to run out and you're going to drive off of a cliff but no, you got this this clergy figure di driving you down the road, and he's saying, "No, no, no. We were just down here last week, and we know that this road has been already. They just didn't take the signs down. And lo and behold, y'all get there, and you drive off the cliff because you didn't see the signs, or you didn't. You saw the signs, but you did not accept the signs. People, these are the signs." These are the signs. Go back in history and look at this stuff on your own. I don't have to tell you. You have people, the Beatles, famous album cover, Revolver album cover, and it has this stuff on there. Look at the rest of my videos, people. 270 plus some odd videos. I have look at my videos and I'm consistently saying the same thing ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty are all based on the genetic altering of mankind's being cross-referencing of mankind's genetics with that of animal and reptiles and there are sacrifices of bodies death and resurrection and in the wake of all of this that's what this is death and resurrection genetically of course all dealing with genetics my name is Jerome Wright you're on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel and tune in for my next video which I'll probably get on probably later on here today thank you alter themselves from one state to the next and this is a practice that's been going on since the very beginning and this is the secret to everything people now the reason why that chalice is up there I have another let me uh, let me go and um and bring what do we have up here next okay there is another chalice and who does this chalice belong to um, this chalice belongs to Burgos Vanda something Burgos Vanda something alright but anyway you can google chalices or and or goblets whatever and hello everybody Jerome right here once again and um, again here you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube okay um, what we're looking at here let me get the error out of the way what we're looking at here is a goblet and or a chalice okay the reason why I have it this um, this is actually the um, the chalice of um, Pope Pius and um, you know I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna touch base on this because the reason why this is up here is because when you do the mirrored image of the Beatles um, revolver album a drink all right um, is generally used in um and um is generally used with um within religious I mean in religion. It is intended for drinking during a ceremony. Now, my position is that you know, and what I've been finding with regards to ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty, that there are cult like rituals that include the consumption of of blood and semen bodily fluids to genetically you will see the likenesses of these cups come up all right now the problem with all of this is well it's not really no problem but what I found let me bring the Beatles album cover up I could have actually just went ahead and, and did that without all right there's the Beatles album cover there this is a mirrored image of the Beatles album cover now here is one chalice here there's this is the neck of it this is the base and it comes up and it creates a cup cover which was um, created back in the um, the 60s there they um, it produces an image of a goblet and or a chalice and I'm gonna bring that image up in a minute and all now my problem with this is that a chalice is described let me let me get the description a chalice I'm going to read the um, the definition of a chalice a chalice is a goblet or a footed cup intended to hold 